All right, so today I want to share with you how to create ebooks and make money from ebooks using two tools, ChatGPT and Canva. Now, in this example, I'm going to walk you through the process step by step. And specifically, I'm going to talk to you about how I make money with ebooks, which is very different than may, maybe what you've heard online. So, number one, the way that I have made money with ebooks is I use ebooks with my email. And what I do is I get people to opt into my newsletter in exchange for receiving a free ebook or a guide about a specific topic that's related to the thing that I'm planning to sell. I typically have sold digital products and sometimes my one-to-one -one consulting services by offering a free ebook. Now when people download the ebook, they will get a series of emails from me where I'm going to be nurturing them and trying to convince them to buy my paid offer, okay? A paid offer could be an online course. It could be a template that you sell. It could be a membership program that you have where people pay monthly. It can also be your services. So if you are a freelancer, maybe you do digital marketing, maybe you're a coach and you sell one-on-one -on -one services, or if you have an agency, you're selling marketing services, you can also use this ebook funnel, like a sales funnel, to actually get people to buy your paid offer. But it all starts out with a free ebook, okay? Now the tools that I use for this type of funnel is I create my ebook using Canva. I use ChatGPT to create the content of the ebook. So it'll actually write the content. You don't have to spend time trying to come up with these ideas because most of the stuff that's popular topics, ChatGPT can write about it for you so that you can save a lot of time. Once I have ChatGPT create the text, I will copy and paste it into a Canva ebook template. I will save that as a PDF file and then I will put that into ConvertKit, which that's what I use for my email funnels. You can use other tools, but I want to show you really a high level overview of how I use it with my email system ConvertKit. All right, so let's get started. All right, so now we are at ChatGPT and I'm going to create an ebook on how to create a social media marketing plan, which is a very common topic. People typically want to know how to post on social media, what platforms they should post on, what are best practices. So that's what my ebook is going to be about because eventually, my goal with this ebook is to sell people into my social media consulting services or some of my digital products I have. I have a content planner in Notion and it helps people map out their social media. So that could be my paid product. So to prompt this, I'm going to uh, start off with the, with the prompt and I'm going to say, create a guide on how to create a, a social social media marketing plan for small business owners, social media managers, and people who are content creator, content creators. Now it's really important that you are specific about who is the guide for because ChatGPT is going to customize the content to speak to that specific type of person. And I have about three different people who would be the, the ones who would purchase this, which would be people who are small business owners, social media managers, and content creators. So that's why I put that in. You want to also tell ChatGPT what you like the ebook to also include. So one of the things I want to uh, address is I want to explain a few things like uh, which platforms to choose how often to post and schedule content, also how to create content pillars, best times to post on different platforms. Yeah, so we'll just start with that. And then I'm gonna also say, include a call to action to purchase my Notion content calendar template. Because I'm gonna use this ebook to sell, like I said, my paid digital product. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and click go. All right, so as you see, it's breaking it down into different things. And in this example, <clears throat> it's using a lot of bullet points, which is good. Now I want to say something too, like when you create an ebook, it doesn't have to be a long ebook. It can literally just be about three to four pages long because the goal is to give people enough information, but then eventually to get them to purchase your paid product. All right. Now, the only thing I would say is right here, I would, if, when I go and put this in my ebook, I would delete 
this right here just put that in and then just copy and paste this one okay and then it's and it actually gives you a link which is kind of interesting <laughs> but i'm going to put the link to my own <clears throat> notion template that i sell all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use canva now this is the free the chat gpt version i use is a free version i'm not using a paid version there is a version that's paid where it helps you select images directly like in chat gpt but you do have to pay but if you don't want to pay and you want to use it for free then you can just come straight into canva and what i'll do is i will go into the search you can search this different temp, uh, templates and i'm gonna say We'll just type in ebook cover for the search and just click on turn. And then it's going to give you different ebooks that these are templates you can use to create your own ebook. What I'm going to do is most likely I'm going to choose a really simple one, like something like this one, and I'm going to change the text. So I will click on that and then I'll say customize this template. So I'm going to say the ultimate social media guide. Okay, and I could change the uh, colors to my own colors, whatever, whatever colors you want to cha uh, change it to, to customize it. And also I can change uh, the image and some stock photo. I'll just put this in here. So that is the cover. And then I'm going to click on add a page. And then I'm going to go over to where it says text and I'm going to click body of the text. So this is like the body and you can choose like how you want that to look as far as the font styles up here you want to choose whatever font you want i think i'm gonna choose open sans i like that one better and then we're gonna put this to go on and then i'm gonna also make this a little bit smaller okay and then you can also put like a header at the top so this could be just like you know talking about the topic and i'm gonna change that to open sans and just make it bold and make this smaller so now that i have that i'm gonna go into ChatGPT and i'm gonna copy and paste everything i just um created so i'm going to scroll down to the bottom and click on where it says copy right here and then i'm going to start copying it but i got to make sure that it's formatted correctly so right now i'm going to go ahead and format this i'm going to put this here and make this smaller and then i'm going to also make the font size a lot smaller here and i'm going to make this a little bit bigger so i can see it but this definitely needs to be a lot smaller and then you just have to go in here and just Pretty much just format it, take off some of these different things that ChatGPT adds, and you can also take this out as well. Okay, so now that I have my cover and I have the body inside of here, the next thing you're going to do in Canva is you're going to go to where it says share, and then you're going to just simply download this, click on the download, and you'll also see some other options. Just click on all pages, okay, and you're going to choose a type of file so typically with an ebook you want to create a, a pdf so click on pdf and then you're going to click on download and it'll create a pdf for you and really that's all you need to do to create an ebook with canva and ChatGPT. is super simple you just have to make sure you format the text when you copy it from ChatGPT. you put it into canva make sure you're formatting it you know make sure it looks good and it's really simple now the next step is like i said earlier the way that I make money from ebooks is I have people go into my email system, which is ConvertKit, and I have a series of automated emails. So really you can sell and make money on autopilot by creating an email sales funnel. So let me show you that. All right, so we are in my ConvertKit account and I have what they what they call visual automation. So if you go into your ConvertKit, and also FYI, if you wanna try out ConvertKit, there's a link in the description of this video so you can try it out and see you know if you want to play around with it you can and then i highly suggest you use it uh, make sure you go check out that link as well so basically in convertkit we're going to go to where it says automate and you click on visual automations now i want to show you something so if you if you go here you're going to see some other ones that i have if you click on new automation it actually gives you templates there are a bunch of email automation templates already here to help you grow different parts of your business whether you have a podcast Maybe you just release a brand new book, whether it's a digital ebook or a physical book, all types of different things. And you can actually use that. Like this one is welcome subscribers to your newsletter. It has a bunch of different email sequences. So for mine, I'm going to use the promote and upsell. So this is the simple funnel. So basically the way it works is that when someone downloads the social media planner, worksheet or a guide. I just created the one I just created right now in Canva. 
I download it as a PDF. You can upload that PDF into ConvertKit. So when someone downloads that, they're going to get a series of emails where I try to pitch my digital content planner for social media, which is a Notion template, and I can get them to buy it because I have a few emails I'm going to send to them. Typically, I will send about four emails and I'll space them apart. With this visual funnel, you can actually determine how many days apart each email is going to be. So the first step, they're going to download the planner, then they're going to get a series of emails. So I'll just show you really quick what that looks like. So you see here, there's a bunch of email sequences. So this is the first email that they'll get, and you can put in whatever information you want. Then you can add another email. And then you can determine how many days it's going to be, these emails are going to be apart. So maybe typically what I'll do is I'll have every one to two days, I'll, they'll get an email for a series of four emails. And every single email that I'm writing, I'm trying to convince them to buy my, my planner, right? So you want to use copywriting. And let me know in the comments of this video if you want me to do a video on how to do copywriting, because it's something that I actually do. And copywriting is very persuasive writing. You could use ChatGPT, but I wouldn't rely 100% on ChatGPT to do copywriting. I would use some of the skills that I that I know and I use. So let me know if that's something you want me to talk about. But pretty much you're going to convince them with persuasive writing here. So after they get those email sequences, then let's say they don't buy it. You can also have another series where you're selling them a different offer. Once they decide to buy any product from you, you can also send them a product welcome sequence, which is the content for people who actually purchase the products. They're going to get a different set of content than people who never buy from you. If they don't buy from me after like two weeks, they'll get my weekly email newsletter series, which is just like just nurturing, building that relationship. Typically, I'll share my podcast or my YouTube videos with them. And then from time to time, I may have a special promotion. But most of the money I'm making is through my email newsletter. So anyway, if you want to learn more about copywriting funnels, I really love talking about this topic. Let me know in the comments here and also make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I have a few other videos I can share with you on how to grow your email list. If that's something you want to learn how to do, make sure you also check out those videos in the description of this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care.